In Cypress, you can override commands like site click or site type or site get to provide additional functionality. You can replace a command or just wrap it around and use the existing command. But few people know that you can override site should assertion command using the same approach. So you can say override should and you get a callback. And the first argument, if you're overriding a command, is the existing command. So it will be should. And the rest of the arguments you can just get using dot dot dot. Now uh, we can print, for example, the arguments and we can return the existing command should apply to those arguments. So right now it should be absolutely the same. When we run this assertion, it would just print. And now you can see the assertion I got the following arguments 42 equals 42, right? The subject equals expected value. Well, what can we do with this? Well, one of the weird things in Cypress, the things that people struggle with are aliases and how to get something from the page and how to use it in assertions to compare it with something else. So for example, if I wrap 42 as let's say answer, how do I say that, let's say whatever I get here should equal in the value in this Alice? Well, you would have to get the answer, then you get the answer value and you would do something like this. Exactly, right? But all this callback nonsense or even accessing through this property is complicated. Why don't we allow the following? If you're getting the value into the assertion, you can use an existing Alice value already computed from an existing Alice by just using add, just like you can use an alias, for example, to wait for it, right, XHR, or you can get uh, a value you know, of dumb element or a plain value. It would be nice if should, which runs in the chain of commands, supported the same thing. Luckily, it's pretty simple to do. So you can get all aliases that are currently stored by using state aliases call. And now you can go for all arguments and I'll call them looked up args map where each argument you look and say if type and r. So if it's a string and if it starts with add character, then we'll grab it, slice the add. And if that key is in aliases, each Alice is an object, so we can actually print it so you can see it console log. Okay, notice what it does, right? Each Alice has a value that is a subject. We can say Alice's key subject. So we just return the current computed value of that Alice. And instead of arguments, we use what we just looked up and replaced. And I forgot. Otherwise, return the original argument to the should. And now look at this. We're getting the alias saved right here. And now we're using it inside the should assertions. Perfect. So this simplifies a lot of cases. For example, if I have HTML like this, where we have two values on the page and we want to extract first score and second score and confirm that the first one is below the second one. Now we can write it very, very cleanly. Get the text, parse it integer and save it as score A. And now do the same thing for the second and it should be above and at score A. So it should look up the current Alice already stored there. Does this work? Yeah, it does. Check this out. So pretty convenient, I think, shortcut for using previously saved aliases inside should assertions by overwriting the should command itself.